top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail, but the rest of the time, rap and a black man, how you think I made it in the game, it's a rat tail, never made it. Yo guys, what's going on? Tim Purcell, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make really, really cool pixel art text uh, in Photoshop, um, and you can use this text for anything like YouTube banners, headers, thumbnails, wallpapers, anything. It just looks really cool, and it's like got a gaming sort of retro sort of style to it, and it looks really nice. Um, so yeah, it's very easy to do. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Can we break 100 likes in this video? That would be amazing, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I upload every other day um, I also stream daily at 7 p.m. so guys make sure you come to them streams as well that'd be sick um, and yeah with that all being said I hope you do enjoy this video right guys so we're here in Photoshop this right here is what we're making the text right here um, it's very very clean um, you can use this for headers banners you can even use it for logos and wallpapers anything you guys want it, can, it looks really well with anything um, so yeah, I'll be showing you guys how to make this. It's very, very simple. So yeah, um, first thing, let's just hide the actual text right here. I think it's just these. Hold on. Yep. Yeah. So first thing you want to do is go to image, image size, and make sure it's at 3000 by 1000. I made this in la the last video, in the last video. So make sure you check this out, that video out. I made, I showed you how to make this background. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to make some cool text to go along with it. So I'm going to be using the font Moon Get. You can use any font really, as long as it's bold. Um, it just needs to be a bold font. And just type your name in, like so. And we want to create like a cool curve to it. So if I just show you, it's sort of like flat at the top and then curved at the bottom. And that looks really, really cool. Gives it like a gaming sort of um, vibe. So. Let's just put it right in the middle. I think it's about there. And you can make it as big or small as you want. I think this is probably the perfect size. And actually, you want to make sure it's not rasterized yet. Let's just put it back in the middle. Something like that. So you just want to double click on the T and then go to this right at the top, this little symbol, and then go to none and change it to arc lower. Oh no. Arc. Yeah, arc lower yeah and you just want to decrease it a little bit so it's like that minus 20 about minus 20 looks good and I'm just going to increase the size a little bit more so like I said you can use any bold font really and let's just zoom in and now we're just going to add like a little gradient to it and you can choose whatever gradient you want as long as it matches with the background so I'm going to I'm going to be using this, like a dark blue to pink, and then you just want to rasterize it, like so. And now we're going to bring it back down, so go to image size and go to, and take off a zero off the end. So it's now 300 by 100, and it should be pixelated now. So that looks pretty cool. Um, and now we're going to add like a little, if I just show you guys, it's like a little glow around the top. And it takes quite a while, well not a while, um, it's just you've got to be quite precise. So yeah, what you want to do is go to the pipette tool and just click the pink or whatever colour is at the top and choose a really light version of it, like so. And what we're going to do is make sure you're on the pencil tool. And I'm just going to, at the top, just add a... Uh, you just want to create a line at the top really something like that all the way along and there is these part, um, pixels at the top which we will be deleting in the, uh, later on so just keep going across like so and now what you want to do is go back to colors and choose a dark color and we're just going to keep bringing the colours down and down um, because now we're just going to keep going around the outside so just go one down like that you guys can get the idea like so and we're just going to keep doing this until it fades off like so and yeah so a lot of you guys actually do enjoy watching these tutorials so yeah keep it up guys and I will definitely do, I'll do more of these tutorials 
For sure. So yeah, you want to keep just going down in colour. So now something like that. And just keep following the same pattern. Like so. And just scroll across. But yeah, you guys get the idea. You just want to keep going down and down. And then we're going to do the exact same but at the bottom. So you want a pipette tool and go to blue or whatever color you're using and choose like a really bright light blue and just highlight the bottom part like so. And it gives it a really nice glow effect and yeah, it's like a shiny sort of effect and it looks really, really cool. So just keep going across. Like so. It's probably a lot easier with a mouse, but I'm using a laptop with a tracking pad. But it still works. And then you just want to go down to a lighter blue and just press once, like so as it goes up, so it's now fading upwards. Like so, it does take a while. But you guys get the idea, I'm just gonna leave it like that. So basically you wanna just keep going up until it sort of fades off. Um, but there's also other things you guys can do. For example, um, you can press Ctrl J to duplicate it and then the one below it. Move it down with the arrow keys and then press Ctrl U and make it darker and then bring up the saturation. So now you've got like a cool 3D effect going on. But yeah, like I said, uh, if you go back to the first one and get the, the uh, marquee tool and just delete the top part. Uh, and then it's more sharp. It looks a lot better like that. But also if you look at the other one, I've, I added like um, little sparkles, um, little, you know, I don't know what to call it, like um, like a shine. And also little blue pixels, just to add a little pattern to it. Um, that's really easy guys, all you just gotta do for them is just click in random places and just bring down the opacity so it's not too bright. But for these little shine uh, effects, I'll show you guys what to do. All you gotta do is choose an area you wanna work with and make sure it's on um, a very, very bright white color. And so say you wanna do it <coughs> right here, just press once and then go to add a new layer, sorry, add a new layer. And you kind of wanna make like a cross. Don't press in the middle though, just keep the middle one the same and just bring down the opacity and then add a new layer and then do the exact same and bring down the opacity of that one as well and then add one more layer and then do one more and bring down the opacity of that so now when you zoom out it looks like a cool shiny effect and you can add that in other places and you, you guys can just be creative and do what you want. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials like this on the channel, let me know. Uh, I know you guys like pixel art and I like it as well. It's fun to do. And there's, I can do like more things like stream overlays, um, like stream starting screens, like even pixel art, um, little lower thirds, stream alerts, or, uh, outros, wallpapers. I've got loads planned guys, so hit the like button if you did enjoy, can we break 100 likes, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos, also I do stream daily at 7pm BST, which is UK time, so yeah, make sure you be there guys, and yeah, with that all being said, I hope you're having a sick day today, I'll see you in the next video.